Hi, I'm Rebecca Shalou, Austin Retro Music Examiner, and we're on location at Half Moon Key in the Bahamas. We're here for some sun, some sand, some cool blue water, and also we're here to do an interview with one of your favorite musicians, and that's Mark Lindsay, former lead singer of Paul Revere and the Raiders. He was generous enough to spend a few moments with us, and we're here to show you the footage. The former lead singer of Paul Revere and the Raiders. And today he's going to t uh, talk to us about several things. He's got uh, uh, one of his CDs from 1970. He's been remastered by Real Gone Music and is now available on Mark's website, marklindsay.com. Um, and he's going to tell us about an unreleased track that is available on that CD. Yes, and not only has it been remastered, this is actually the first time that a compilation of uh, all the B sides have ever been put out. So it's mastered for the first time. <laughs> Um, also, um, other things and projects that Mark has going on is he uh, recorded a song for a Who tribute album. And uh, what song was that, Mark? Uh, that was the uh, I Can See From Miles. And the, uh, the compilation has a lot of artists. I can't remember all of them now, but I know Todd Lundgren is doing a, a track. Ginger Baker appears on various tracks. Uh, the guitar player for MC5. Uh, just a plethora of Folks. It sounds like an exciting compilation. I'm looking forward to hearing it. So much. <laughs> also, uh, we heard a rumor that uh, you wrote a song with Brian Wilson for the new Beach Boys album. Can you tell us some more about that? Uh, one of my goals ever since I was one of my first I bought three albums. The first three albums I bought was a, a Ben Webster saxophone player uh, album. Beach Boys album and the Johnny Madden album. And since I got listened to Surfer Girl, I was wanted to write a song with Brian. And I had to wait a few years to do it, but we have a, a, a co compilation on the new Beach Boys album, and there's uh, maybe some stuff uh, coming up in the office. So we'll wait to see what happens. Thank you for letting us know about all your latest projects. We look forward to everything that you're going to do in 2012. We have one other question for you, and that question is. If Destiny had made it where you could not be a musician and you had had to choose another profession in life besides Bun Boy, what <laughs> would you have chosen to do with your life? I've been a beach Probably. That sounds relaxing. Thank you for talking to me. I appreciate it. Thank you, Becca, and uh, hi, Austin. Make sure that you visit marklindsay.com so you can get autographed posters, limited edition CDs, t-shirts, and other exclusive Mark Lindsay memorabilia direct from the source. Also, be sure to visit examiner.com so you can stay in touch with the latest in music news. Signing out, this is Rebecca Shalou, Austin Retro Music Examiner. Took a few rainbows, I want to hear you. San Francisco, I will be glad you wait. I'll be the Count of Monte Cristo, you'll be the Paris May. And you can believe in Robin Hood, Brotherhood, and Bull and Bob and the Hay. And I will be meeting you at Aesop's table, be the thing to make you say. Thank you.